welcome back to Tech Logics. If you've been following our series, you know we are diving deep into the world of Hikvision 4 GPT network cameras. In our last video, we covered the initial setup and installation process. If you missed it, be sure to check it out for a comprehensive guide. Today, in the second part of our series, we're focusing on a crucial aspect of utilizing your Hikvision camera effectively, setting up local storage using a memory card. This feature allows you to record and store footage directly on the camera itself, providing a reliable backup and ensuring you always have access to your recordings, even if your internet connection faces issues or disruptions. Before we begin, please make sure the memory card has been properly installed into the camera. Also, ensure the camera is powered on. Your PC or laptop, as well as the camera, should be connected to the same router or modem. Now, let's proceed with accessing your camera settings. First, open your web browser and enter the IP address of your camera. You can find this IP address using the SADP software. Run SADP on your PC or laptop, locate your camera, and note its IP address. Next, type the IP address into your browser's address bar to log into the camera interface. When prompted, enter the admin username, usually admin, and the password that you previously set in SADP. Once logged in, you'll see the camera's web interface. To view live footage, you'll need to install the required plugin. If you're unsure how to do this, we have a detailed tutorial on our channel, be sure to check it out for step-by-step -step instructions. After installing the plugin and confirming that the live feed is visible, navigate to Configuration a Storage a Storage Management. In this section, you'll find the HDD management area. Here, you can see if the SD card is recognized by the camera, along with details like storage capacity, free space, and current status. Make sure the SD card shows as healthy and has enough free space for your recording needs. If not, verify the card insertion or consider formatting it. You can also configure recording settings here, such as enabling scheduled recording, motion detection recording, or continuous recording, depending on your security requirements. To format the inserted storage device, first locate and tick the checkbox next to your SD card or storage device in the Storage Management menu. Once selected, look above the list for the Format option. If the storage device's status shows as uninitialized, this indicates that the card has not been set up yet. Click on the Format button to initialize the SD card. This process will prepare the storage for use, and once completed, the status will change to normal, signifying that the device is properly formatted and ready for recording. After formatting, the free space on the storage device will maximize to the full capacity of the SD card. This means all previous data is erased, and the card is now set for continuous or scheduled recordings as per your configuration. Remember, Formatting the SD card is essential for first-time use or if you encounter errors, ensuring your camera storage functions correctly and efficiently. Finally, you can set up your recording schedule according to your specific needs by configuring it on a weekly basis. To do this, navigate to Configuration the Storage the Schedule Settings. In this menu, you will see a grid representing each day of the week and each hour of the day. Here, you can customize whether the camera records continuously or uses motion detection during specific time slots. In the demonstration, the blue blocks represent hours allocated for continuous recording, while the maroon blocks indicate hours set for motion detection recording. To configure these, simply select the desired option, either continuous or motion detection, and then drag your cursor over the corresponding days and hours to set your preferred schedule. After setting your desired recording times, click the Apply button to save the schedule. This ensures that your camera records exactly as per your timing preferences, optimizing storage use and enhancing security. According to the configured recording schedule, the footage recorded by the camera can be accessed and viewed through various methods such as the HitConnect mobile app, a web browser, or the IVMS 4200 PC software. In this demonstration, we showcased how to review the recorded footage using the IVMS 4200 software, which provides a convenient way to playback and manage your recordings on a computer. This allows users to verify and analyze footage efficiently from their desktop or laptop. In the next part of our video series, 
We will guide you step by step on how to add your camera to the IVMS 4200 software and access live video feeds and playback options. We will provide detailed instructions to help you set up remote viewing and manage your camera easily from your computer. Stay tuned for this upcoming tutorial, which will make accessing your camera's live and recorded footage even simpler. If you found this video useful, we would greatly appreciate your support. Your feedback and contributions help us create more informative content and ensure we can continue providing valuable resources to our viewers. Whether it's by liking the video, sharing it with others, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support truly makes a difference and encourages us to keep going. Thank you for being part of our community, and stay tuned for more helpful tutorials.